Hi everyone, today let's talk about the different text features authors use to organize their text. Examples of these can be bullet points, graphs or charts, pictures and photographs, or even maps. Let's get started. The first text feature you might see would be pictures. The author gives you pictures to help you create a mental image and get a visual for what you're reading about. Next are headings. Headings are there to tell you what the article or story is going to be about. Another text feature is bold print. The author uses bold print or darkened words to help point out important words or keywords that you need to pay attention to. Next, you also have maps. The author uses maps to help show you where different places are in the world. Another text feature you might see are diagrams. The author will give you a diagram if they have a picture and they want to label the different parts of the picture so that you can better understand what they're talking about. You might see an author using a timeline. The author gives you a timeline if he wants you to see the order in which events happened. These are labeled by years. Next, the author might use graphs to present data or information. You can see different graphs in the form of tables and charts. If you're reading an article with pictures in it, you might notice the little words. These are called captions and they tell the reader what's happening in the picture. Next, you'll see bullet points. The bullet points are small little dots, and the author uses these to list information out. Next time you're reading a book or an article, stop and think about all the different tools or text features that the author used to organize the text to help you better understand what you're reading.